you're welcome for the free ad That's another thing. Uh, MG's uh, Facebook profile picture is Ted Rogers because he hates Rogers and he's wearing a Blue Jays hat. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, that's a little bit of irony there. And they're starting on Yoshi's story and they, he does go Fox. That's the answer, MG Fox. Yeah. I don't know why he would have gone Puff versus Shemple on the Luna. I have no idea. I guess Puff is good against both his characters, but yeah. maybe he just wasn't trying. And, uh, that losing pressure. I don't, think, like, I don't, I don't know how good at dub, uh, MG is. I would assume he's pretty decent at dub. He seems like that kind of player. But Mateo's a literal dub god. So, like, I think Mateo's just a really, really good player. Yeah. To say something really dub, like I just think he's a really, really good player. I think Mateo's pretty good. You? What do you think, Cory about? Uh, <laughs> I think he's uh, an excellent player with a great combo game, uh, solid neutral game, knows when to play lane, knows when to play uh, on lane. I feel like, it, like of any comparable, he's comparable really to like Gatsu or SDK. Gatsu is probably the best example yeah. I'd have. I don't think he's like quite as explosive as S2J. I no, I've definitely seen it. In neutral, he, he can but be, like in his pocket. Yeah, he can be crazy like aggressive explosive. And you can see everything he does has some, has some sort of like method to it. There's a method to everything he does. Every single move. MG with the quick SD. This is a pretty close game. Blues keep up two stocks now, as I say that. I was just gonna tank some box because Falcon doesn't oh die. And see there, there's Those the SDK. The trade, yeah. Yeah. I like it. That was actually really sick that he went for that bear and he got they got converted off. That's a really tough bear to hit. They're not letting him land. Okay, they're letting him land. <laughs> God. Oh, the commentator was crazy. MG and Mateo are just like to play with your food cakes, honestly. <laughs> But that was a relatively close game, all things considered. Mateo notably wearing the McMaster University jersey right went... As we already know, he goes to Brock now. Yeah. So uh, he's, he's, kind of, he's kind of a traitor. <laughs> he's kind of a traitor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he just doesn't want to be associated with Hamilton, or maybe he just prefers Brock. He prefers facing Snivy because he does the same thing every time. Maybe Snivy. he just has a shirt. You know? <laughs> but that's like he the sweater he wears to everything. It's a nice sweater. Yeah. I ran into it at my Oakville place. I'm 99% sure you're wearing that sweater. <laughs> Maybe he only has one set of clothing. Who knows? Yeah. These are the questions. <laughs> Rabbit going for a slide off, but it was covered by the. He calls that Rabbit's full hop with that knee. I don't know if that was just like a random throw at the knee or like he knew he was going to full hop, but that was like 3,000 IQ. Every time I see Mateo make a read, it hits. As I say that, he misses. But well, that, like, that, that was like that was, was full hop coverage, coverage as well. Yeah, because the fox was on the other side. Yeah. Was like cover. that jump read was a read, but tech chasing is less reads, more option coverage, unless you're charging like a That's fair. And he's still holding on to his first stock. Yeah. Teo looking like the best player on the screen stock right now. Stock over. Well, he is the best player on the screen. Like he's like I don't think there's a single player on the screen that he wouldn't beat in this game. Maybe rather. Maybe. No, he, like, he's Both super good at the cheap matchup. Is he? Yeah, he's like amazing at the cheap matchup. Alright. It's good to see him coming out right now. I haven't seen him at a couple of events. Yeah, I mean, we haven't like, had much. Most but of the hyenas like, aren't going to stuff anymore. That's and, true. Which is like... Understandable. Yeah. But, uh... I, uh, like... Like, Blake, Blake wants to... Like, the reason he didn't come to this, he was coming to this at first. He's not coming to this because he doesn't like the tournaments. Yeah. And get cold. So, that's why he didn't come. He also gets super, he also gets, like, super emo. About melee, a lot. Yeah. I've, I've experienced that. I've got the, uh, the 2 a.m. Hey, Corey, I'm putting melee. Yep. <laughs> you know? Oh, no, he was doing that to me for, like, a year before he was doing it to anybody else. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I, I wish Blake was here though, because like, I kind of wanted to play dubs today. You know, he's a homie. I, yeah. I like to see him, so. Yeah. Looking more dominant on Battlefield, though it was their counter pick. Yeah.
Mateo, like, is really good at the Falco matchup, too. Uh, he's known for actually just straight up beating Ginger. Was it 3 2 or 3 0 that said? Uh, I don't know the answer. I heard both, so I don't know. But he, but he, he did beat, he, beat him. he beat Ginger in a best of five. Ginger, if you're watching this, we're never going to let you live that down. Also, MG Falcon. MG Falcon's so good. You know what? A lot of uh, Ontario players beat. Uh, yeah. Liquid beat him in his in a minimum, in a match. match yeah. Liquid also beat Chillin' at uh, the... Okay, but Ginger's better than Chillin'. Ginger's better than Chillin', but like, Liquid's Ginger's coming out and like, getting wins, so... Liquid's here today. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how he does. Yeah. And uh, notably, he's been doing better too. He beat Trample last time they played. Yeah. I don't know if he's one of those uh, Mars that's like a sheep matching god. No, there's he's, definitely a few of those. He's pretty here. bad in it. So, like, so, I, I, I know, I know Inferno Jesus. Yeah, Inferno Jesus just had had cheeks to play for the longest time though. Yeah, yeah. So like, and he's a sheep main too. Like, like a, he's like a sheep secondary. Oh, does he have one? I yeah. know that. Yeah, he plays it against like Andreas. Yo, so MG went Falcon this game. To bring it back to the match at hand. Yeah, I, I, but, like uh, I mentioned already, MG's Falcon's actually really good. Uh, so even though it's like, yeah, sandbagging, it's not like, oh, I don't want to try. It's still yeah. Falcon. MG Falcon is nothing to be, like, shaking your finger. He's going for a nut stick off stage. Team, play with your food over here. And they're both dead. <laughs> Feels great when. Oh, you're dead for that. The hell you almost got Randall, but that was. Uh, I never want to team with MG, dude. I never want to team with MG. <laughs> Yo, I team with him. It seems I would, like fun. I, I just, would never team with MG in tournament. Are you kidding me? Look, I I don't care if I lose. I just want to have fun. So. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> MG with the big smile on his face right now. But holy crap. <laughs> Bring it okay, back to one genius. sauce apiece. That was a, the genius fucking just D. <laughs> oh my god, so much aggression coming out of the Falcons right now. So, that's all you can do is Falcon. You play you, you really defensive, everybody hates you. Falcon, when playing defensive, is probably way more. Like, not probably. 100% way more annoying than Sheep when played defensively. There's Sheik and there's Lame Sheik. No, there's Lame Sheik. <laughs> That's fair. I, I know you're a Sheik hater. I, I hate Sheik. <laughs> that was good timing on the fair. Yeah. Uh, like, they traded it instead of it's, just losing it. It's hard to time that fair on a trade, too, because it's not one of those moves that takes a second to come out and has a huge hitbox. So. Gotta agree. The fact that he like timed it right away, he knew when that dare was coming out. And switching back to Fox. I wonder if the switch will uh, uh, affect how he plays in this bit. Yeah, you play. Just don't ever do that again, MG. Wait, is, M is MG still Falcon and Plum's Fox? Uh, no, I think... I thought Plum was a... or Mateo. I thought Mateo was, um, 4-1. It's possible? No, it says uh, up there where Mateo is 4-4. Oh, uh, true. Oh, and they rolled together. That was so weird. What the hell? How did that? Did like, it, uh, I thought... It, I didn't think it was going to hit the SDI that, like, all the way down, I think. Oops. Interesting choice to go after you. I know it hampers, I like it. Uh, it definitely hampers the uh, sheep. It, it, but it I feel favors like Falco and teams on FD is pretty good. It favors Fox in both matchups in the 1v1s. And like, the Falcon punish game is just so much easier here. All you have to do is stomp the dubs. That's fair. Ooh, that was getting crazy. The back air shine. I like it. MG, you're nuts. And even though Rabbit went out there and killed him for it, uh, Mateo covered the ledge and there was nothing that uh, Rabbit could do to get back. MG with the jump reach shine. That's a classic. You get those in dubs, you're a god. Well, you're not, you're not a god. You're, just, you're, you're, you're good for the set. Yeah. It, it just takes stock sometimes. You know? I like the way Mateo does his full hop and airs. He kind of drifts him forward and tries to hit you with his thigh. Because he knows like if you jump into it, you can get hit. Kind of punishes the intuitions. Yeah, I think really the best way to beat that is up tilt. But like he's so good against up tilt that he just forces you not to do it. F smash from behind the sheep. That was kind of interesting. It worked out, but uh, that was a little sketchy. 
Respecting the ledge dash. For the yeah, he waits till MG gets in. Because he knows Rabbit's going to try and defend against MG. So he rolls into stage. Oh my god, he had Falcon punches his teammate. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now I'm not entirely convinced it's not MG. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Mateo holds the same uh, uh, B moves. Art cool. Yeah. Sort of mentality. He's like, he's like none mixed with Gatsu. <laughs> They're gonna lose this. I know it. I hope they, I hope they lose this. I really do. <laughs> okay, that's, that's the set. <laughs> oh man, taking it 3 1. <laughs> Excuse me, 3 MG 1. is just as like, if Eric Andre played melee, that's what he would play like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good comparison. Yeah. Great comparison right there. <clears throat> so now they have to play against Tranimal and La Luna. Please don't go puff again. Go puff I swear again. to God. Go puff again. <laughs> no, don't. Just don't. I kind of want to see his puff. It'll be fun. I don't want to see his puff. If I see a puff on the screen, I'm like quitting. Okay. <laughs> Solo commentary dubs. I can't even commentate dubs to begin with. There's so much going on. Yeah, commentating dubs is hard. All you gotta do is just like say, oh, this happened, and then talk about the player. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs>